What's going on? So I was actually just live and it kind of shut off because I was getting a phone call and it was tied into my YouTube. Anyway, this is something I was actually thinking about on my run today because there's a lot of people that are talking about getting paid more. Obviously, there's a huge amount of competition right now between not only going between companies, switching between companies, the, the mass exodus of people leaving and quitting their jobs and just going into things that are making themselves happy. But there's also a large portion, portion of people that actually want to get promoted. Okay, they want to move up in the ranks. And to be honest, if you don't want to get actually promoted, I would say you're really close to being on the chopping block every single time you enter the office. Because if you're not actually looking to actively grow or get better or understand how I can actually bring on more things to maybe get paid more, then you're essentially replaceable almost overnight. Okay, because if you're not getting better, then really the job is the one that's dictating how good you get instead of you. Let me say that again, is that if you are not getting better yourself, then you're relying on your job to make you better. So this is the Jim Rome qu quote that I was listening to on my run this morning, and I, it really hit home. And the reason being is that, so the quote is that you should work harder on yourself than you do on your job. And the reason being is that when you work harder on yourself, in other words, the traits of, say, influencing, managing, selling, marketing, advertising, financials, whatever the case, social media, video, presenting, public speaking, whatever the case is, is that if you're getting better at your traits, then you're invaluable. Not the job, but you are. And there's too many people out there that are relying on their job instead of themselves to actually get promoted. And this is what I saw when I was at my financial firm when I first came out of college is that I really wasn't trying and I didn't really care. And the thing was, I would have said that I was pretty close to getting fired if I didn't leave because I didn't care. I didn't put in the work. I didn't put in the effort. It was pretty straightforward at my quarterly reviews. Dude, you got to step up the game. And the thing is, I didn't really care. Like if I got let go or fired, it didn't really matter. And if that's the feeling, you got to proactively do it for yourself because you don't know when that chopping block is coming. However, this is even more important is that if you're not actually working on yourself, you may not even be able to get that job or that payment in the future just because you had it in the past doesn't mean that you deserve it in the future because if your traits haven't actually gone as accelerated as your job has, like design or marketing or videography is at a whole new level right now. Like even the beginner videographer is just so talented because all you have to do is get an iPhone or a starter camera and it's all, you could do a starter camera and just really make a really good video based on the editing or the music or the storytelling. That's at a new level. Back in 2005, 2010, even 2015, you needed higher end computer, higher end product. You needed to make sure that you had a place with high internet high-speed internet. Now, you could do everything on your phone, you could do it on a laptop, you could do it remote, you could go to a shoot, do it, and then come back and then say, hey, listen, here's your product, even though I don't live where you are, say New York City, San Francisco, LA, Miami, Austin, all these big cities where they require it. Listen, edit it at home, but the time for shooting is one week, whatever that is. You're introducing your new product. It takes one week to shoot and maybe two to three weeks of editing but it's at such a high level that you must be getting better because someone else is. Someone is, is surpassing you as we speak. That's literally going through my mind is like, how many other agents are putting in, I'm in real estate, how many other agents are actually putting in the time and the effort way more than I am right now? Like how many are waking up early and getting after the prospecting? How many are actually honing in their skills on their presentation? How many are honing, them, honing their skills on social media? It's at a point that every real estate agent must be a jack of every trade and very good at it. I'm talking about prospecting and converting, that's sales, that's marketing, that's presenting, that's negotiating, that's social media, that's good on video, that's good in photography. You have to be everything now. It's not just you put a home up and you're good because anyone can do that now, okay? It's really differentiating yourself from the entire mass of what, two million realtors in the United States. I think it's right around there. I could be completely wrong. I'm not part of the association of realtors. No one really in New York City is. But what Jim Rome was talking about is that if you get fired at your job or if you're not moving up in your job is that you're not working on yourself. You're not actually honing in your traits. You're not actually increasing your value to the company or your value to the marketplace. You are paid 
in proportion to the value that you give the marketplace. So if you're giving the marketplace no value, in other words, you're, say you're a videographer or a real estate agent, let's, let's do videographer. If you don't know the difference between f-stops and the lens and lighting, and then you have to put, uh, say, a mic or lav on the person, and then what if you forget your headphones and you don't know that the audio is not on or there's a, there's a stiff breeze and it's cutting in and out of the, the audio? I have went through this, and I'm not even a videographer. It's because when I'm filming property tours, the videographer will hit me up and say, hey, listen, actually it's really windy on the outside portion. I think we need to skip just to the, to the apartment portion. In other words, we, don't even, we can't even do an intro. And I'm like, you need to bring headphones to know if it's too windy outside. Or we start where it's not as windy, or we do it when, it's not, when there's not a big gust of wind, or there's not a big truck noise or siren in the background is that, to me, that's very unprofessional. And I'm the one that's paying hundreds of dollars per video. You gotta get it right. You know, the bare minimum to even delivery within a product is two days. Like, that's bare minimum. Apple delivered a product within one day. Because of Amazon, Amazon stepped their game up so much with free delivery and great customer service about sending their product back. Now everyone has to do that. Roka, where I buy my sunglasses, Free delivery, free giving it back, free returns, and perfect refund within 30 days. Every company is going to have to do that because it's the expectations of the consumer. So you really have to understand that it's not up to the employer. It's not up to your boss. It's not up to your manager. It's up to you to get better. It's up to you to become completely invaluable. Okay? There's people that do sandcastles for corporate events that get paid tens of thousands of dollars. Okay? They're invaluable to entertainment, okay? They became the best. They honed their skill. They know exactly the difference between different sands and, and moisture in the air and how much water to put on the sand and molding and things like that. They become a master at it. So Jim Rohn's qu quote for 2022, have it ringing throughout your, your ear in case you want to move companies or you want to actually just leave the company and start your own thing, which is, work more on yourself than you do on your company. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe for more quick rants. I'll talk